Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin and Ethereum and some crypto news daily update. We are going to see the next targets and of course before we begin do not forget to join our monthly subscription links in the description box. You can either join Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto, buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto or buildmindyourcrypto.com. We are going to introduce scalp trading right there in case we go and have the swing high that we expect towards the 46k. We are going to do scalp trading to help you everyone with this and it won't be with extra fees monthly okay it will be with the same fee so join us and you will get an automated system with buying and selling opportunities personal guidance educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis live training market updates manual system with the 90 percent win ratio and many many more so join us Thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are let's go right now into bitcoin chart right here on the weekly frame we have this major crash of minus 17 to 18 percent we even touched the 20 almost minus 20 percent in just one week this is a huge correction going on bitcoin is going further down and it doesn't stop we have some crypto news as well with the Russia as you all know with geopolitical uh, issues right there and of course with the US federal that they are hesitating into providing this digital currency we are going to see that all let's go to the weekly chart right here you can see that we were soon going to have some important support levels we are in the first important support level for Bitcoin and you can see on the weekly frame we have the commodity challenge index in an oversold situation from 3rd January this means that we have seen this common channel index few times in history of crypto market you can see that and once we go there it is a great point to accumulate okay to accumulate bitcoin let's see some news and let's see something that i really wanted to show you okay i'm going to write this name down i have already wrote that down and we are going to see something and we are going to read something so far the decline in bitcoin has been very orderly no one is panicking yet false it's like a slope of hope false at some point there will be a trust crash yes true okay that's how these declines typically end this flash crash may not start until after bitcoin breaks 30 okay then look out below this thing right here peter i think that he is approaching and he's focusing more into gold okay and i truly believe that this is not valid however you are going to criticize that as well whenever you see many bearish comments such as many bullish comments be always skeptical and criticize them all right so therefore we are going to introduce some news right there bitcoin is down really really bad okay of course surely no one could have predicted this um only just a few and of course, uh, it is due to the Russia's proposed crypto mining bank, to the US Federal Reserve's hesitation creating digital currency and the geopolitical issues on Kazakhstan and many, many more things right there. Okay. Of course, known for its volatility, um, Bitcoin is going down. We all know that if you are uh, in the previous, in the history of Bitcoin, you have seen that again and again, okay? But at the same time, this looks kind of scary for the beginners and this is always scary to see and to have okay so right now uh what we are going to do is we are going to provide some important support levels don't we drawing the skiff pitchfork from this bottom right here ending up to this top and to this bottom right there and you can see that we are having the support level right here of around okay 34.7 Okay, we have this support level on the weekly frame, it is on the daily frame as well, it is valid. If we close below that, then we are going to go to the 32.7k. This is the next support level to look at for uh, Bitcoin, unfortunately, okay, yes, unfortunately it is. However, we are going into a position with, uh, we are going into a position which we will soon see a very, very huge swing high, okay, and we will soon be bullish and we will be very quickly bullish. Mark my words on that the price will go very fast upwards that means we could see 10 percent in just one day 10 percent in the other day and plus 20 percent to cover all of this loss right here that we are in for example a plus 20 percent would bring us back to 42.4k unfortunately but anyway 
Let's see the good point. The good point here is that we have many risk metrics into an oversold. The only bad thing is that we are crashing down, correcting even and even more. And this doesn't let us get into higher highs, higher low pattern right here and to get us into the 56k, 55k that we were talking about. But instead, we now focus a little bit lower into the 46k. So I would have here the 46k as a major resistance level right there. Okay, here we go. And of course, after that, if we can manage to go above and higher, this will be very, very good. However, right now we are focusing on this resistance level right here. And if we can go potentially even higher, then this will be very good for Bitcoin on the daily frame. And of course, you can see the low risk we have, the commodity channel index into almost a no time low. You can see that absolutely amazing stuff going on for the commodity channel index and the whole crypto market is in an extreme oversold situation right here for quite some time but right now it is really really into an extreme as well on the daily frame for ethereum against bitcoin chart this is the first time we are going below 30s okay so despite the fact that this is the first time that we are going below the 30s i think that we are going higher the only problem that i had with ethereum against bitcoin chart was the bearish rsa divergence on the weekly frame and i have repeated that several times so that's why i think we can go further down with the, with the ethereum bitcoin chart in the midterm that is the case for ethereum usdt that i believe that with ethereum we are going to see the two 0.785 from now on we are going to see some higher targets as well i'm not sure if we are going to go even even higher or if we are going to break target after target right here we are in an extreme oversold but we are in an extreme bearish mode as well you can see that the price analysis doesn't correspond so well with the technical analysis when we have such an oversold situation what we expect with the altcoin is to go even higher not to go fast down okay but instead we are getting lower lows and we are having a very fast crash on the one hour frame and on the four hour frame you can see that check it out we are getting so fast further and further down well we have an oversold situation as well we expect right here to have a pump up okay soon enough maybe to go a little bit sideways from there and then to go even even higher to the 10 2.785 K, all right, um, that's 2.79 actually, K. So we are going probably above there. We are going towards the next targets. We will see if we can go even, even higher afterwards. I do believe that if Bitcoin doesn't have the strength needed to get faster upwards, okay, from here to get a little bit faster upwards into the next price targets right there, then this will lead to another correction towards the 32.7K, which is here. Okay, the 32.7K around there, around this area right here. From there, we can have a buying pressure. Many people are talking about that we, if we are going down from the 30K, we are going to see many short positions, means that we are going to have another flash crash. I believe that we are going to have many long positions instead of short positions right there. And I do not believe that if this happens, we are going to have a flash crash over to the 24K and so on. All right, so therefore, just chill. Do not worry about that. We are going to have first a swing high before we get down to these levels, if we get down to these levels. Personally, I find it really difficult to go to the 69K in the near future but at the end of the day i'm very positive about bitcoin having a very nice swing high towards the 46 47k we will see if it's going even higher we will note that for now on pay attention to these targets and of course do not forget to join our monthly subscription we will introduce the trading the live scalp trading so you get helped into this bad scenario that we are in thank you for watching have a fantastic day see you soon with many many more videos bye